Howdy, thanks for joining us for devotions again this morning. Our reading for today is Matthew chapter 5, uh, verses 1 through 12. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all manner of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is kind of a challenging passage, passage to me in some ways. Um, it seems like, <clears throat> well, it has seemed like at first glance to me that uh, Jesus is saying, if you do this, if you act like this person, then you'll get this reward, which is kind of a funny way to think about it, especially in Lutheranism where we emphasize how we're saved by grace and not because of the things that we do. But you hear, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Well, I want to have the kingdom of heaven, therefore I should try to be poor in spirit, right? And that's the way I've often thought about it, but I think it's better to consider it this way. This is a list of different things that God's people experience as they go through their life in this world. And there are things that we experience that don't make us feel very blessed all the time. And compared to people that we see in the world, perhaps, or when other people look at us, we don't seem to be blessed like Jesus says that we are. And yet he says we are blessed. <laughs> so blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are the people who are just plain struggling. Maybe this is even um, depression included in here. Things like that uh, don't seem very blessed. And sometimes that happens even to God's people. But he says, there's the kingdom of heaven. There is blessing, uh, even if we don't experience it fully right now. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek. This means uh, humble, or how did the lexicon say it? I think, um, I think it said uh, not having too high of an opinion of themselves or something like this. Um, so humble in a certain way that way, for they shall inherit the earth. It doesn't always seem, <laughs> you know, sometimes feels like you're more blessed if you stand up for yourself, you know, and, and prove how good you are or whatever it is. But no, Jesus says, blessed are the humble ones. You don't need to prove yourself right now. You'll inherit the earth. <laughs> Jesus will prove it for you later. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Now, this was my confirmation verse back in eighth grade. And uh, the hungering and thirsting at that time, I kind of thought was like, oh yeah, the people who want to read God's word more and that kind of thing. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's an okay interpretation too. But hungering and thirsting implies to me that you want or even need something that you don't have. Hunger, hunger and thirsting for righteousness. So that means, uh, you know, as far as a Christian life goes in my living according to God's word and things, I'm not where I want to be. And I'm hungering for more and it's just not coming. That's what it seemed like to me, at least in this moment. And and God, Jesus says, even those people are blessed. Blessed are the ones hungry and thirsting for righteousness. The time's going to come when it's going to be filled. We have another passage. Um, I forget the reference, but he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion on the day of Christ Jesus. So God has started to make you and me into the holy people uh, that he wants us to be. And we experience that with its ups and downs in this world. Uh, but the time's going to come when he completes the work that's begun in us. We'll be perfectly holy and pure like he's, uh, like he's made us to be spiritually. We'll be that way uh, completely as well. So all these different ways, different things that, that Jesus says, yeah, that's the case. Uh, and it doesn't less necessarily look like God's people are blessed here on the earth. But uh, we can trust the word of our Lord. We are blessed because what it means is... Uh, we're a part of God's people. Blessed are those, he says here, uh, blessed are the peacemakers. They'll be called sons of God. Peacemakers aren't always the people that are most looked up to in this world. Sometimes it happens, but uh, sons of God is exactly where you and I want to be. And so we thank our Lord Jesus for having made us to be his daughters and sons. Uh, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that we're blessed no matter what we experience in this world as your brothers and sisters 
children of the same Heavenly Father like you've made us to be. We thank you that you've blessed us through salvation that you give us through your death and resurrection on our behalf. And we ask that you would hold us in that faith until you return to take us to live with you forever. Help us as we go through the rest of this week, dear Lord, and um, help us get everything done that we need to and um, to stay true to your word. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us. You all have a good day.